The race is not given to the swift. Neither is the battle given to the strong, but the one that can endure and the one that can hold on to the very end. So if I sound a little different <laughs> this morning on this podcast, it's because I'm out walking. I am out walking right now in my neighborhood. Lately, I've been getting up at five o'clock every morning, praying, me with God at a different time, lacing up my shoes, putting on my bag, putting on my workout clothes, my hat, and coming out here and catching this sunrise in the morning. And I've been walking, been actually getting my 10,000 steps in before 10 a.m. It's a little challenge that I gave myself called 10 before 10. I said, told you we're going to get 10,000 steps in before the clock even strike 10 a.m. And I'm going to tell you, I started this. I started this to, um, for the physical benefits of it. I started this walking for the physical benefits of it, but it didn't take me long to figure out that my, the benefits that came from it went beyond just the physical. Me getting up doing this every morning in the mo- in the morning and walking like this, it's not only changing my body, but it's changing my mind. And I got the mic right here next to my mouth because I'm trying not to talk loud. It's early in the morning. Most of my neighbors still sleep. So that's why I'm kind of talking lower. But I just wanted to bring y'all along with me this morning because as I'm out here watching the sun rise, I'm talking to God. He's revealing things to me. And I stepped on the scale this morning just to see where I was, just to see what I was working with. (laughs) And Holy Spirit began to speak to me. He said, said, "You, you can't be driven by results. Can't be driven by results. And we just start. This is all confirmation because we just started a um, we just started a group me for all of my life coaches, for my certified life coaches, all the coaches that I have certified through my academy. We just created a group me for us to be able to connect with each other just on a on a closer level and be able to, you know, hold each other accountable and give each other motivation and support and that daily guidance because it's it's challenging building a life coaching business and so I do have a community inside of my academy but I just wanted I wanted to create something that would bring me and the clo- me and the coaches even closer together so I created the group me and um one of my one of my divine ones coach Tyson he made a post in there yesterday. So I say this is all confirmation because he made a post in there yesterday, gave us a good nugget, and he asked a question. Oh, Lord, that's my neighbor dog over there, y'all. Hold on. He in the fence, though. <laughs> okay, we safe. We good. Holy Spirit walking with us. <laughs> so, okay, getting back to it. Now, this ain't going to be like a regular... You know, of course, like a regular video, regular live, regular, like I'm out walking. So I'm watching my surroundings, you know, I'm winded. My heart rate is up. I'm taking in the sunrise right now. So I'm going to be a little all over the place. Okay. That's the disclaimer. You know, dogs might go to bark and I'm going to be all over the place. And I would have turned this episode into a video, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to be out here in the neighborhood holding my phone up and stuff in the air. It was just been too much going on. But anyway, okay. <laughs> so back to the group me with the coaches. All this going to tie in together. Listen to me now. He said, so Coach Tyson, when he made the post, he said, what defines a driven coach? He said, what defines a driven coach? And 
I made a post and I responded. So he, he asked the question to all the coaches and all the coaches, we started responding, you know, what, what, what defines a driven coach? What drive, in other words, like what drives you? What's your motivation? What's your why? Why do you do what you do? What drives you? And so this morning as I'm out here walking, um, God revealed it to me. He said, after I, like I said, I stepped on the scale this morning. I wasn't really happy about what I seen. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was a change, but it wasn't like the huge change that I was looking for. And then I realized that Toy, you can't be driven by that. You can't be motivated by that. Because the results are going to be invisible for most of your journey. For most of your journey, you, you won't see the results. They won't be there. So if that drives you, how long you think you're going to last? If seeing a certain number on the scale drives you, if seeing a certain number in your bank account drives you, if that's what you are driven by, you ain't gonna make. <laughs> that's not. That's not. That's not sufficient. That's not enough. That's not. That's not. That's not the correct fuel to use on this journey. It can't be, because the majority of this race, the finish line will be out of sight. The finish line will be invisible. You you won't be able to see it. It will be invisible. You will not be able to see it. This is where your faith come in. It. The Bible tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight. It said, now faith is the substance of things that are hopeful. And it is the evidence of things that are not seen. So faith is part of the fuel that you have to use to, to fuel this car, to fuel this engine, to fuel this, this journey. Because the majority of the time, your, your outcomes that you desire, your results that you desire, they will not be there. So you have to have something in you that keeps going even when you don't see the finish line. Then, as I'm out here walking, I heard God say, and he's speaking to me so loud out here. Like it's it, it it's so loud. The the spirit of God, the voice of God is he meet me out here every morning. But he said to me, he said a race ain't given to the swift. Toya, it ain't given to the swift. It ain't given to it ain't given to the fastest one. He said, You gotta understand you running a race. This is a race. And he said it ain't given to the fastest one. It ain't given to the the quickest one. It ain't given to the one that can sprint the fastest. It ain't given to the one that can get to the finish line the fastest. Because it ain't even about that. That's a part of it. That's a part of it. But that's not what it's all about. It's about endurance. He said, you got to pace yourself. If you listen to this from YouTube, I want you to put that in the comments. Say, I got to pace myself. That's what I'm doing out here right now. I'm reminded of a quote from one of my mentors. His name is actually uh, Dr. Billy Allsbrooks. Had the pleasure of meeting him at one of his seminars. And got his book, Blessed and Unstoppable. Great book, by the way. He signed it, personally signed it for me. We took pictures. God has used him to pour a lot into my life. One of his quotes... He has a gift of words, too. God has blessed him to have a gift of words. He's a motivational speaker, but he's also a great writer, great poet. Just He just has a way with words. And one of his quotes, he said, success is a marathon of consistency. It's one of my favorite ones. He says, success is a marathon of consistency. Walked out one day at a time. I'm going to say that again for the people in the bike because <laughs> it's just that important. Success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. In other words, 
I might look crazy out here getting up at five o'clock every morning, coming out here walking, but I'm running a marathon. You might look crazy getting up, sending them emails out to your email list every day in your coaching business, in your consulting business, in your, your product-based business, your service-based business. You may look crazy making them phone calls, making that one phone, that one phone call you made in that day might've didn't mean nothing. That one Instagram reel you made in that day might've didn't mean nothing. Excuse me. That one YouTube live you did in that week might've didn't mean nothing. It was insignificant. But when you pair it up against 365 days when you pair it up against six months of that when you put it up against two years of that come on now when you put it up against five years of that when you put it up against 10 years of that now you got a whole portfolio now you have a whole trail and what you're doing is you building your resume. Now you have a whole resume one day. And we don't know how this is going to happen. We don't know. We sow the seeds. We water them. We tend to them. We nourish them. But it is God. Do you understand me? It is God that gives the increase. And we don't know when the increase coming. We don't know how it coming. We don't know where it coming from. All we know is that it's God. It's coming from God, but we don't know who is coming through. Oh, I just clocked one mile. Got to up my pace, though. We don't know. We don't know what channel is coming through, but we know where it's coming from. We know source. Source is God. But we don't know what avenue, what lane, what street, what channel, what person, what door is going to come through. Because like I was telling y'all on the other live we did in the spirit realm, there are multiple doors. There are infinite doors. God has infinite ways to bless you, infinite channels that he can utilize. So you got to keep yourself open. You got to keep your spirit open so you can receive. And so going back to the question that Coach Tyson posed in the group for the life coaches he said what what drives you what are you driven by what's your motivation what's your why and it got me to thinking and it just it, it led all the way over into my walk this morning and to into my prayer and into my conversation with God because of that number I saw on the scale I was reminded to you you can't be driven by that because if you're driven by that you won't make it. You won't make it because your destination will be invisible for over 90% of your journey. You will not see land. It's like you out here sailing on the ocean and you will not see land. So just because you don't see land, you're going to give up. Just because you don't see evidence, physical evidence of this thing manifesting, are you just going to give up? Are you just going to throw in the towel? Am I Just because the scale ain't say what I wanted it to, scale, to say, am I just going to stop walking? No. Then also, too, like I was saying, the benefits go beyond the physical. Coming out here, walking like this every morning is changing me. It is changing me. I am becoming a whole nother person. I'm in, I'm a, I'm a different mother now to my children. I love my children harder now. I'm more affectionate to them now. Our hugs hit different now. The kisses that I give them hit different now. The conversations that I give them, the lessons that I teach them, they hit different now. I am becoming somebody else. And you're going to feel it and hear it even in my messages. My, my messages to my students, to my members, to my clients, to my audience, to my community hit different now. 
sirens in the background. Lord be with whoever that is. But it's, it's different now. And those are the real victories. Those are the real, those are the non-scale victories. See, you got to take your eyes off of that certain number that you want. Now, you, you set the number and you let God know what you want now. Because the Bible says you got to make your request known to him. So you let him know what you want. Whatever that number is. But once you done set that and you done asked for that, you got to take your eyes off them results because you can't be driven by that. Because as a coach, if I was driven by the money, I would have gave up a long time ago. If it was the if it was the money that drove me, if it was the money, the reason why I showed up and I did what I did, I would have gave up a long time ago. I have done hundreds Y'all better listen to me. I have done hundreds of podcast episodes and I don't even talk about what I make or what I, cause that's not what my brand is about, but I'm just saying this for a, the point that I'm making. I have done hundreds of episodes on my podcast and I ain't even made <laughs> from the podcast itself. Like I ain't even made I ain't even made $3,000 from that out of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. And I'm talking about time that I put into this studying to do these episodes, reading, spending time with God, self-developing. And that's just the podcast. Hundreds of episodes there. There's even more on my YouTube channel. Hundreds of videos that I did on my YouTube channel long before I was ever monetized. I didn't get paid anything for that. So if I was driven by the money, I would have gave up before I even got to the money. I would have gave up. So you can't you can't be driven by the results. It may be a period of time when you first get started that that is what drives you. But you better hurry up and find a different type of motivation. You better hurry up and find something else. And I'm going to tell you what you got to tap into in order to keep going with this. Because like Dr. Billy was saying, that success is a marathon of consistency. If you're going to set yourself up to run a marathon with this, if you're going to set yourself up to get up and do this every day, whatever that thing is, it might not be walking for you. It might be something else. But whatever you know you got to do every day in order to be successful You got to be willing to say, skip that scale. That's what I said in the morning. You got to be willing to say, skip that scale. You got to be willing to say, skip that money. You know, you got to be willing to say, skip that bank account. Not in a way like you done forgot about it and you just don't care. No, you say skip it because you focusing on the identity. The identity, that's what it's about. It ain't about the number on the scale. It ain't about the number in the bank account. It ain't about the number wherever. It ain't about the results. It ain't about the outcome. It ain't about the destination, the finish line. This is the way God set this thing up. God say, if you keep doing the certain things that you need to do every day or every week, Whatever the, whatever the frequency is, if you keep doing, if you keep taking the right baby steps that you need to take every day, every week, you don't have to worry about making it to the finish line. The results will take care of themselves. The outcome will take care of itself. But... If you're driven by that, if you're driven by the outcome, if you're driven by the results, you will become discouraged when you don't see them. You will become discouraged when you don't reach them. And the discouragement will become so great that you will give up. That's what will happen. You will become so discouraged that it will depress you. It will depress you and you won't you won't have the the drive the motivation to keep going so 
you have to oh boy i just closed my exercise ring okay i'm moving now all right so you you won't have if you're driven by the results if you're driven by the outcome you won't you won't have the motivation that won't that's not enough fuel to keep going that's like stopping at the gas uh station and you on a journey to go on a long drive you stop at the gas station and you fuel your car with the cheapest gasoline <laughs> and you only put like five dollars in there i remember them days but i had to put listen i know i know baby i only had enough money to put gas in the car to get from one gas station to the next and I had to go ask my grandma to let me borrow ten dollars so i could put some gas in the car <laughs> and pray and hope that was enough gas to get me to work and i ain't break down on the side of the road but that's what happened in the spirit realm when you use your results to drive you you use your results to fuel you you won't make it long you won't make it long you're gonna break down you're gonna need to go get some more fuel it ain't enough and it's not quality fuel not and it's not sufficient for this journey because this is a long journey see you pray that prayer you ask for what you want and you set out to go get it but you don't know how long it's gonna take you to get there so you gotta set yourself up for the long haul that's what god was speaking to me when he said the race ain't given to the fastest one but it's the one that endures he said in other words you got to set yourself up for the long haul got to pace yourself you're just like a runner running a marathon you got to pace yourself so you got to get up every day and you got to do enough in that day don't burn yourself out don't try to take huge leaps in one day don't try to be super intense don't try to come with all that intensity because all you're going to do is burn yourself out. I'm not impressed by people that come and they can they can outdo me. They can outdo me in a day. They can, I'm not impressed because you might can run circles around me while I'm out here walking. But are you running like that a year from now? Are you running like that five years from now? Are you training like that 10 years from now? Probably not. Probably not. Your joints gonna get tired. <laughs> Your joints gonna get tired. You just like the turtle and the rabbit. You gonna get tired. And you gonna have to lay down. Get you some sleep. And then while you sleeping, old turtle that you laughed at. Old turtle that you said, what he doing? Look how slow he going. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> You know, with my kids slipping in, baby. That, that, let me tell you, they, baby, my kids slipping in. They got their own language. I love them. I love them. They got their own lingo. Who is this guy? This guy. What do you got going on? That's what they saying about you. Who is this guy? Who is this lady? This crazy lady. I him walking. And God already revealed it to me. He said, your neighbors looking. They looking. They looking. They looking through the window. Oh, honey. Uh, this this lady's out here walking again. She's been getting up, coming out here every morning like clockwork. She's out here walking again. Yep, that's what they saying. That's what they saying about you. Look at the turtle. Uh, look at the turtle. Oh, little turtle. Mm-hmm. But guess who won that race? Old turtle. So you keep on going. Get you a steady pace. Don't you get in no hurry. To my coaches, my entrepreneurs, my business owners, my nine to five employee. If you're an employee, you're a business owner, no matter who you are, this word is for you. You're a mother, father, anything that you do in life. Set yourself up for the long haul. Set your goal. Have your goal. Have your intention. Have your outcome clearly defined, clearly established. You should know exactly where you are going in life. What is your destination? What is your finish line? Write it down. Make it plain. Make it clear. Clearly defined.
put details, break it down using your five senses. What does it look like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? What does it feel like? What do, what do you hear when you get there? Make it as vivid as you possibly clean, possibly can. Vivid detail. Be clear about your outcomes. Then skip it. <laughs> skip it. After you've made your request known to God and you've asked him, then I want you to begin to focus. This is your strategy. I want you to say skip that and I'm going to focus on the identity. I am going to focus on becoming the person that can accomplish that. And I, as long as I become the person that can accomplish that, I don't have to worry about the results. I want to become the person that lives that lifestyle. I don't want it to just be about the result. I don't want it just to be about the money in my coaching business, but I want to become the person. This is what has to drive you. I want to become the person that can bless people with my gifts, with my natural gifts. I want to become the person that can use my words to alter somebody's destiny to speak life into somebody, to encourage somebody, to motivate somebody, to hold somebody accountable, to bring meaning to somebody's life, bring purpose to somebody's life, one person at a time. I might not reach a thousand people on my video. I might not reach 50,000 people on my live. I might not sell out a, a conference. I might not have a huge book signing. But if I can do this for one person every day, I'm not driven by the results. I'm driven by the identity. I want to become the person that lives this lifestyle. And as long as I set myself up for the long haul, remember the quote, success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. As long as you clocking, as long as you hitting that clock every day for success, them time stamps going to add up. Over time, they're going to add up. But see, if you if you haven't become the person, if you haven't changed your identity and you're only driven by the money, you're only driven by the results, you're only driven by the number on the scale, you may get there. You may look up and get there. But chances are you won't keep it. You can't keep it. You can't maintain it. You can't sustain it because you don't have the identity to match it. Because once you get there, Life's still going to happen. You still got to get up every day and live this life. So you might as well make it a lifestyle. If you want to get there and stay there, make it a lifestyle. Set yourself up for the long haul. So I just want to share that. I just want to share that with y'all. I'm going to end this podcast. and I like this. I like this vibe out here. Doing old podcast with y'all while I'm walking. <laughs> I love y'all so much. If you can join me in um, Orlando, we're going to be in Orlando, Florida. I'm going to be teaching the Snatchback Season Masterclass on July the 23rd. I'm so excited about this. I'm meeting with a group of my divine ones. If you're if you're interested in coming out, send us an email to support at IamLatoyaOkia.com. If you're interested in coming out, I'm going to be taking a small group to join me in my summer home location and we're going to be doing more of these so if you can't join this one send us an email and let us know if you're interested in joining one and we'll let, let and see where you are because we're still in the planning stages of what cities we're going to actually be coming to so i'm going to be teaching the virtual master class there's a virtual ticket option for you to buy as well it's only 25 dollars virtual ticket you get the full replay as well so that's if you can't join us in person, you can you can invest in that. If you're in the membership, you get that free. But if you would like to join us in person for the elite in-person coaching experience, you have the opportunity to be right there in my summer home location with me while I'm teaching the Snatchback Season Masterclass. And after the class is over, we're going to be doing some in-person coaching and some sitting down and talking and connecting as well so it's truly going to be an elite experience if you're able to join us reach out send us an email to support at iamlatoyaokia.com all right i love y'all 
play this episode a couple times because it's, it's, it's nuggets in now. It's gems in now. God was dropping them on me this morning, and I wanted to share them with y'all. So I love you. Don't forget to share this episode with somebody. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll check in with y'all next time.